feel will completely change your life. That one thing that you think will have the most positive impact on your life right now. So, I will be back. I've been MIA, you guys know I haven't been feeling the best. Just took a couple days off because I really did not do anything but take medicine and eat jook and that's about it. I think today is gonna be pretty insightful for me. Fossil Watch is working with me on this video and I was trying to think of like, I don't know, a video topic to like show off the beautiful gold watch with its nice blinginess and all this stuff. But really what I've been thinking about is time. You know, it's almost Christmas. Can you believe that? Like, I thought it was still the second week of December, then I looked up and it's not. Then it's almost New Year's, and then it's 2019. And now, like, 2018 is basically done, and um, the other day we were talking about setting our 2019 goals, but now I think it's time to look back at 2018 and see if we've even accomplished anything that we wanted to accomplish, because a lot can happen in a year, you know? I'm really interested to see what I have accomplished or haven't hopefully have because you know that's important but um yeah let's let me get this done and then uh, let's get started passion planner All right here's my 2017 here's my 2018 passion planner look at how well used it is oh what a mess it's all kind of overlapped here oh I did make some cross outs as I mentioned in my uh, 2019 goals Increasing subscriber count on both YouTube and Instagram is really important for me to achieve my goals, which are mostly financially related. Getting out of debt is uh, the number one thing, thing on my mind. As long as I can increase my subscriber count, then I can increase my income, and then I can pay off my student loan. I'm hoping to do that uh, December. I have $120,000 left, but I think that we have been doing a really, really good job just dumping buckets into student loan accounts. So that's why you're always, that's why in this you're seeing a lot of subscription, followers, subscription, followers, because it all goes in a circle here. So three months, I had um, 250,000 subscribers on YouTube which I don't think we hit in three months, but we did hit in 2018, so I'm gonna call that a win. Three month mark was to pay off my car. I did that in two months, and that was my very first big payoff debt situation, and I did a video all about it, and um, that, that was a, a real big confidence booster for me. Another thing I wanted to do in three months was move to a place that made me happy. Um, if you've been following me for a long time, you know that Brian and I used to live in a loft and the loft was really cool However, I'm someone who loves natural light since I do stay home a lot I just need to be in light. I need to be happy in my place and that place did not make me happy. It was It was really dark and dungy and as hard as I tried it just did not feel like home and it made made me really upset and made me really sad and angry most some of the time and it actually kind of affected our relationship just because like that stuff is important to me um so the goal was to move out and we did that in the summer so it wasn't at the three month mark but we did it just a couple months ago and i just uploaded our home tour of our new apartment uh i think last week so yeah this place is just so much better i feel so much happier, the boys are happier, it's safer. So it's it's actually kind of crazy. I was in a really bad like living situation in college and I gained 20 pounds. And I'm kind of like a short girl, so 20 pounds on this frame was a lot. And it was because I was just really unhappy with my roommate situ situation, I just ate bread. 
that's what I did. I went to the library and ate sandwiches for like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I gained 20 pounds. And then I moved in with my girlfriends, and I swear to God, the weight just fell off. I didn't do anything important after that. But it's crazy how like a living situation can like really affect your being. Learn after effects. I haven't done that. And I'm pretty sure that's a goal of mine for 2019, just because I'm trying to elevate my videos. Um, on one side, I like the way I shoot my videos because it's very me. You guys see a very authentic part of me. But I also want to elevate my videos and be more creative and have better quality. So that's something I want to strive for in 2019. And then the last goal for the three month mark was to make uh, take home $7,000 a month and I don't know if I made it at the three month mark because it see I'd have to go through my budget But we did make it this year. We did make it and then some so all the goals that I wanted to accomplish in three months Didn't necessarily happen in three months, but it happened in 2018 except for the after effects thing which is I, you know, I just need to spend time to learn how to do that. So I'm pretty happy about this. Oh, and the last one was to have a successful launch of my merchandise line in January on my birthday, actually, January 29th, 9, uh, January 29th, 2018. I launched my very first merchandise line, which was a woman's worth collection, and 10% of the proceeds went to uh, Planned Parenthood. We did have a successful launch. In fact, it was so successful that I had to restock the merchandise four different times. And the last time was actually a couple days ago. And um, yeah, so I would consider that a very successful launch. 2019, our goal is to, la to launch new merch, this time benefiting um, a shelter or uh, an organization uh, for homeless animals. So look out for that all right now for the one year mark one year mark work with brands to spread the word about pet adoption which i am very happy to say that i've been working with a lot of brands to help with the word of just animal wellness in general hourglass is a company i've worked with they are a vegan cruelty free company jackson bones is actually a dog like apparel and bed company and their beds are really comfortable but proceeds of their purchases go to an animal shelter rescue freedom project is a organization that i was just re recently introduced to they actually uh, rescue animals from um, animal testing a lot of bunnies obviously a lot of beagles beagles are the number one most tested uh dog um, just because they're very obedient and stuff um, some llamas they have chickens um, unfortunately their uh, rescue was actually burned down in the Los Angeles fires a couple weeks ago and that was about two weeks after I went to visit them so that's kind of a bummer but everyone was safe they got all the animals out so they just need to rebuild that but that's also um, a rescue that I have been working with closely something that's really important for me, when I work with brands, is that they're uh, at the very least cruelty free. So I know we're kind of veering off here, but uh, if you ever see me working with a brand, you can you can be sure, rest assured that they do not test on animals. Not in America, not in China, not anywhere. Okay. In the one year mark, I want to pay off my AES success. And I did that. I did that, when do you, do you guys remember? Sometime this summer, and I did an entire vlog about it, and it was just a really cool moment. Although anticlimactic, I will have to say, but we did, and um, that was $30,000 of my debt, so we were able to do that. My one year mark here, I said uh, buy a designer handbag. That is obviously not gonna happen uh, until I pay off my last student loan, so. That is a goal on this uh, 2019's list. And build a community of supportive women, which I think we have, and not just women, but also men in general. I really like the community that we have built, you and me, we have both built on YouTube and Instagram. I love reading your comments. I love reading um, everyone's 
in words of encouragement to each other. So I think we're doing that. So that's on my three month and one year mark. I think one, two, three. I only didn't hit three of the goals that I wanted to and I am pretty happy about that. Three out of a lot, so I'm happy. I'm reading this on my three years mark and it says to pay off 60% of my student loans and and it's kind of crazy because obviously 2018 is when I started my debt-free journey and I couldn't even fathom paying the amount of money that I'm paying now per month towards my student loans. So in three years, a goal for me was to pay off 60% of my student loans, but now the goal in one year is to pay them off completely. So it's really funny to look back at you know, your passion planner roadmaps or your goals for a year and see how your mindset shifts in 365 days because, you know, you just don't know where your life is going to take you, I guess. So, interesting. Other goals I wrote down on here is to have a skincare line, which I would still love. Um, build a community of people who believe they can change the world so a lot of like helping you guys realize your potential and from there help make this world a better place kind of thing um work in the government to help animal animal welfare oh god could you imagine me working in the government they would have no idea what to do with me crazy lifetime debt-free homeowner be on the cover of a magazine wouldn't that be cool i used to want to be on the cover of like sports illustrated or glamour you know one of those but now i want to be on the cover of like forbes why not you know so yeah i guess since we already went through this i'll go ahead and rip these pages out of my passion planner we have 2016 2017 2018. So I guess a theme of the past three years of mine was pay off my debt, increase my visibility to therefore change the world. Wow. <laughs> Lofty ass goals, don't you think? But we've accomplished some of them. So that makes me happy. You know, we still have what, a week and a half left of 2018? Things on this list could still be accomplished. Maybe I can learn After Effects in one and a half weeks. Doubt it, but we can try. I wonder how I can do that. It's kind of fun to look back at um, what you thought your life would look like. So I'm glad that we did this. All right, well, I guess I gotta end this video and start making shit happen, you know? Vlogmas question of the vlog. Guys, we are almost done with Vlogmas. I can't believe how quick time. What did I say? I can't believe how quickly Christmas or Vlogmas, the month of December has gone by. Like I said, my fossil watch is reminding me how quickly time flies. You know, a couple days less left in Vlogmas. And I have to say, I had that one mental breakdown in the very, very beginning. I've been kind of good. Vlogmas question of the vlog is, what is one thing that you accomplished in 2018 that you set to do in 2018? And what's one thing that you almost accomplished but want to work on for 2019? Okay? Time to reflect on our year because 2019 is not going to be a dumpster fest like 2018 was, okay? I feel good about 2019 for all of us. I felt like 2017 was universally a pretty shitty year for everyone. 2018, we were getting better. I mean, society-wise, we were still in the dumpster. But I think 2019, we will kick ass. That's what I think. All right, I will see you guys later. Bye.